Game console repairs. In this video, I'll be showing you an Xbox 360 Slim, which does not read any discs at all. Uh, just to quickly show you, I'm going to insert a disc. Okay, so this is what happens. I tried to read it, and uh, eventually you get a message: "Open tray," which means uh, the lens has pretty much failed. In order to fix it, you can either replace with the brand new laser mechanism or brand new lens module. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace with the brand new uh, laser mechanism. Game console repairs. In this video, I'll be showing how to open up an Xbox 360 Slim 250GB model. The concept is pretty much the same for the 4GB model as well. All that is different that this one contains a 250GB hard drive in the hard drive bay area. These are the tools required in order to open up your Xbox 360 Slim. Uh, we'll be using X Tool Unlock Tool Set, or you can use XEM or X8 Tool Set as well. These two are pretty much the same. The tool that we'll be using is this one. It has a pointy end. This helps in opening up uh, the fan grills on each side of the console. Other tools required are Torx T10 screw bit or screwdriver, Torx T8 screw bit or screwdriver, Micro Trend Precision screwdriver small Phillips flathead screwdriver and a large Phillips number two uh, flathead screwdriver okay let's get going step one uh, remove the hard drive cover located here and next uh, you can simply pull out this um, um, fan grill so take this off uh, take out the hard drive Next, uh, grab your XEM or X tool, uh, this pointy pin uh, tool set, and what we'll be doing, just simply push it up from here, slide it in, and then there are these pin clips that you're unclipping simply, and then there's one hidden under this belt, unclip that. And clip it so these comes off basically what's happening here is um, what are you doing you're putting the clip in and going in like that and pushing it that way and lifting it up so that's the actual That's what you're doing on all these clips, so simply sliding this pin in, pushing it that way and lifting it up, same here, same there, so these are on all these six clips. So that's done. Next step, uh, uh, there's another drill here that we need to remove, so grab your Phillips uh, flathead screwdriver, simply place it anywhere there and you can gently just pull it up and then you can simply lift this drill off so this comes off next again there are six clips in there uh, same technique we'll be using uh, grab it from this side and then slide this in and push it that way and lift up there's a bit of a guesswork there uh, Okay, so this comes off again. This is what you're doing. So, placing this pin in these one, two, three, four, five, six holes. So, slide the pin in, push it that way, and lift it up on all of these. So, that's the actual, this is the whole, that's what you'll be, you're doing. Okay, once that comes off, so, uh, remove the Wi-Fi connector, uh, there's a Torx screw in there, so simply unscrew it, so this comes off, 
uh, it's it's, uh, it's basically connected by USB so simply uh, take this off okay next uh, uh, we'll be removing the bottom cover first uh, remove this Xbox 360 sticker okay and this side is easier you'll see these two clips here it's hard to see actually so there are two clips here simply use your flathead screwdriver and unclip these two clips here uh, so the, the as you can see so there were two clips so simply unclip them so it comes off so that's your two clips now on this side there's one clip you can simply unclip it using flathead screwdriver but the other one is further down so first unclip the first one and once it's unclipped um, all you need to do use your flathead screwdriver and where the Xbox 360 sticker was simply uh, pull it sorry push this uh, flathead screwdriver in and then that you know, unclips this clip here uh, now as you can see our bottom half is separated so simply uh, gently pull it out if you can sometimes there are a few clips in there there so simply unclip them as well so one any of the use any of your flat head or micro turn precision screwdriver there are a few clips in there simply unclip them once it's unclipped, you can take off the bottom plate. So that comes off. Next, there are five Torx uh, 10 screws there that you need to unscrew to remove the front face plate and the top cover. So, grab your um, Torx uh, screwdriver and unscrew these five screws. Now we can simply pull out the faceplate. Uh, it's connected with this uh, cable here. So gently remove this cable from its connector, unclip it, and you can remove your front uh, faceplate. And you can easily lift up your top cover. Next, uh, remove the DVD drive. Uh, it's connected with the power cable here and uh, uh, SATA cable. So simply use your um, flathead screwdriver. Easier just to uh, remove the SATA cable and pull out the DVD drive. Okay, our Xbox 360 is opened. These are the tools required in order to open up your drive and replace the old damaged broken laser mechanism with a brand new one. Obviously you need a brand new laser mechanism. You need Phillips number 2, screw bit of screwdriver, small Phillips screwdriver, small Torx screwdriver. You can either use small Phillips flathead screwdriver or micro turn precision screwdriver. Okay, let's get going. You can simply purchase uh, Xbox 360 Slim Light on DVD Drive laser mechanism from our website. Simply go to jc rbscom On your left, you'll see a section Xbox 360 Slim. Click on the plus sign and then click on Repair Parts and Tools. 
here we have a wide range of repair parts and tools and here we have Xbox 360 slim light on DVD drive laser mechanism uh, as long as you have 16D4S light on DVD drive any firmware revision uh, this will work in all the models uh, in order to open up your Xbox 360 slim best is to purchase one of these Access Pro Toolkit version 4 toolkits uh, this is the best toolkit in the market, it pretty much opens uh, all the gaming consoles as well as cell phones, so be sure to check it out. Let's open up the DVD drive. Step 1, remove this rubber band. Next, flip it over and remove the 4 screws. Next, grab your micro 10 precision screwdriver, what we'll be doing. Um, We'll be removing the adhesive from this rubber in order to lift up the bottom cover. So simply just run it along and the bottom tray comes off. Next, disconnect these three cables. Next, remove this small Phillips screw. Now we are able to lift up our PCB. Uh, best is to untuck the wires from here. Just pull out all the wires. And lift up your PCB. and simply have it like this. Next, remove these small torque screws. Next, simply lift up your old laser mechanism. Laser aside. Grab your new one and simply place it in. Put back the four screws. Next, simply put back your PCB in place. Connect the three cables. Put back this screw. Let's place our bottom tray back. Place the four screws. Put back this rubber band. All done. Alright, let's put a console back together. Step one, let's place our DVD drive, align the two cables and place the DVD drive back in its spot. Next, we'll be placing our top cover along with the face plate. So, the top goes like this. Next, uh, let's place our face plate. First, we need to put our ribbon cable.
Okay, once the rebel cable and everything's in, simply align these with these four holes and slide it in. Next, we'll be placing the five long torque screws. Next, we'll be placing our bottom cover. So simply align uh, this over here and slide it in. Once it's clipped in, and clip back this side in as well. Next, we'll be placing our our Wi-Fi module. and place it screw next we will be putting the fan grills on both sides and hard drive cover simply uh, align these two clips with these two clips over here and slide it in Next, uh, place back the grill. Next, um, place back the frame on this side as well. Place the hard drive. hard drive cover. Hold on. Thanks for watching the videos. Please go to gc-repairs.com to purchase all the tools and accessories you need. Thank you.